Hello and welcome. In today's class, we will be looking at the cell phone keypad program that appeared in ISC Computer Science 2025 practical question paper. According to the question, most cell phone keypads look like the following arrangement. The letters are above the respective number. So as you can see, we have these alphabets and if I have to type a letter A, I just have to press this key once, but if I have to type B, then I have to press this button twice. And for C, I have to press it three times. So that's how we can type the alphabets and the blank space is given here. So that's how we can type a message using this type of a keypad. So for sending text or SMS, the common problem is the number of keystrokes to type a particular text. For example, in the word stop, there are a total of nine keystrokes needed to type the word. You need to press the key seven four times, the key eight once, the key six three times and the key seven once to get it. Now we have to develop a program code to find the number of keystrokes needed to type the text. For this problem, accept just one word without any punctuation marks, numbers or white spaces and the text message would consist of just one word. Test your data with the sample data and some random data. So for example, if the input is dear, number of keystrokes should be 7. If the input is thanks, number of keystrokes should be 12 and if it's goodbye with a hyphen in between then it's an invalid entry because we are only going to consider alphabets. So that's the question. Let's start writing the program. So here I have created a file keypad.java. Let's start with the import statement. So we have imported the scanner class in our program. Now we can create our class. Then the main function comes in and inside main we are going to create the scanner object. Now we can ask the user to enter the word. So system.out.print enter the word. Obviously, it's going to be a string, so we are going to take a string variable, string word equals in dot next. And we can convert it into uppercase also. The case does not matter here. And to count the total number of keystrokes required, we can take a counter variable count and set it to zero. And now what we'll do, we'll scan each and every character in this word and then work on those characters. So for that, we'll write for i equals zero, i less than word dot length, i plus plus. Now inside this for loop, we are going to extract the individual characters. So char ch equals word dot carat i. Once we have extracted the character, now we have to check, we have to make sure that it's an alphabet. So for that, I can write if, uh, I can put a not operator here, and then write character dot is letter. So I mean to say over here, if, this current character is not a letter or not an alphabet. So in that case, I'm going to print an error message, invalid entry. And then return from main. So when I return from main, we exit from the program and the program terminates. Now, if it's a letter, then we have to count the number of keystrokes required for that particular character. So in that case, for different different characters, 
we have different number of keystrokes required. For example, if you go back to the keypad diagram or the keypad picture, you will notice that for characters A, D, G, uh, J, M, P, T and W, for these characters, only one keystroke is required. So, if my current character is one of these characters, how do I check that in Java? So I have taken these characters in a string and then I apply index of that ch. Now, if the value is greater than or equal to zero for that function index of, if index of is returning me a positive or a zero, positive value or a zero, in that case, it indicates that this character is one of these characters in the string. So in that case, I'm, I'm sure now that uh, only one keystroke is required. And in that case, I will just do count plus plus. Else if there are certain characters now which requires two keystrokes. For example, uh, the characters B, E, H, K, N, Q, U, and X. These characters require only two keystrokes. So in that case, I write dot index of ch is greater than uh, equal to zero. So in that case, I'm going to increase the counter by two. So count plus equals two because these characters require two keystrokes, exactly two keystrokes. Else if, now there are certain characters which require three keystrokes. So again, let's put them together in a string. So there are uh, characters like C, F, I, L, O, R, V, and Y. Okay, so for these characters, I need to increase the counter by three. So I'll write count plus equals three. Otherwise, if it's none of these, then it must be the remaining characters and remaining characters means uh, must be requiring four keystrokes. So I can simply now write else count plus equals four. And once the loop ends, I have the total number of keystrokes in my count variable. So now I can print the output. I can give a message, number of keystrokes equals a count. And my program is complete. Let's save it and check the output. So let's run the program. So it is asking for the word. I am giving the word dear. And you can see that it requires seven keystrokes on total. So we are getting the right output. If I give the word thanks, so I'm getting number of keystrokes as 12. And if I'm entering an invalid string, goodbye with a hyphen in between, so it is displaying invalid entry. So that's all in this class. I hope you have understood how to solve this program. And it's a very short program. In just 25 lines, we have completed this program. So I think it's a good choice. If this question comes in the exam, you can attempt this question. And in a very short span of time, you can complete the program and do well in your practical exam. Thank you for watching and see you soon in the next class.